Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. As you already have seen by the title, I filmed a what I eat in a week video. I usually only do five days, so it's more like a what I eat in a working week video because I promise there is no difference in adding the two extra days. Also, I wanted to just ask you guys a little question because you guys seem to really enjoy the videos where I do a what I eat in a week and then I add the calories at the end of each day. And my goal with those videos, coming from someone that used to track their calories so meticulously to the gram, like I would not allow myself to go a calorie over. It was so bad. But I had like a set amount of calories every single day, you know, like years ago when I tracked calories and all that and I had my eating disorder, I would get this overwhelming amount of anxiety and guilt and I would feel like I failed if I didn't eat the same amount of calories every single day. Now, as y'all know, your girl has recovered. Shout out to me, go me. So I just eat intuitive eating, just normal eating, you know? And I like to show in those videos when I track my calories, like the fluctuations in how many calories I eat per day, just depending on how I'm feeling. But even though that's my goal with those videos, I know it's not gonna work that way for everyone. And I know that sometimes like showing the calories can actually trigger people. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments below if you prefer this kind of video. I didn't track my calories in this video. Or if you prefer the calories. So just let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. But a little quick disclaimer, I'm not saying that my diet is good. I'm not saying that the way I eat is healthy. I'm not recommending that you eat this way. This is literally just a simple what I ate this week. That is all it is. Don't take advice from it. I'm not trying to pressure anyone to eat this way. Even though some people like to take it that way, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> if you think I eat unhealthy, that's fine. Don't eat this way then. I'm still gonna continue to eat this way because my body. I'm gonna do what I want with it. So that is basically everything I want to say for this intro. If you guys end up enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But if you absolutely hate it, which I wouldn't blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. And of course, subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress. And for this intro, it gets way too long because I'm guilty of doing that. Let's just get on with the video. For breakfast, I had some leftover strawberries from the strawberry buttercream cake that I made in my previous video. So I had this little idea that I wanted to try. I basically tried to kind of make strawberry cheesecake oats, sort of, kind of. I, I tried, at least. I made my oats like usual, and if you guys didn't already know, I mix my protein powder with whatever non-dairy milk I have on hand, and I mix it to the side, because I feel like when I mix it to the side, it mixes better with the oatmeal, and I don't get any of these like random chunks of protein powder. I add some chia seeds and some salt, and I mix it all together, and then I cut up the strawberries. For the cheesecake part, kinda. <laughs> I melted some of this veal life cream cheese, then I mixed it with some cashew curd, and then I also added cinnamon and like half a drop, a quarter of a drop, I don't even know, of this vanilla stevia because a little goes a long way with this stuff. I wish I had some graham crackers or something because I think that would have been like the finishing touch, but this was still delicious nonetheless. All right, so for lunch, I had an open-faced bagel sandwich. I used one of these Dave's Killer Everything Bagels. This would have tasted way better if I toasted the bagel, but I just couldn't be bothered. I was too hungry to wait for that. This is probably my favorite vegan tuna that I have tried so far, and I get it from Whole Foods. I really love the Mediterranean flavor. Oh my gosh. I had just a little bit of my garlic hummus left, so I used the container to mix those two together. I then spread that mixture onto the bagel, and then I topped it all off with some of this everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. As for chips, because I can't have a sandwich without chips, that is just illegal. I cannot do it. I refuse to do it. I had some of these cheddar and sour cream chips, which were like my favorite flavor growing up. Oh my God, it takes me back. That was my lunch. It's not my greatest work, but it was super simple and quick and it did the job. For dinner, you guys have seen this meal before because it's just one of my favorite meals of all time, especially recently. I eat this so often. It's just some noodle soup with vegetables and tofu. It's so easy to put together and it just, it never fails me. She's a ride or die. For dessert, I had one of my last slices of the cake that I made in my previous video and some frozen green grapes because they're delicious. I love them. Day two, I snacked on some of these Nix nuts while I cooked my breakfast, which happened to be the same breakfast I had the day before, being the strawberry cheesecake oats. For lunch, which wasn't really much of a lunch, I had this bag of teriyaki vegan jerky while I watched Hunter Hunter, well, rewatched Hunter Hunter, 
And then I also had some of these salt and pepper popped chips as well as those cheddar sour cream chips. I basically was too engrossed in rewatching Hunter Hunter for like the fifth time and I didn't feel like assembling a proper meal. So this is what happened. <laughs> For dinner, I decided to make a baked ziti, which is one of my favorites. I make this tofu ricotta, if you even want to call it that, which is really just mashed up tofu. I use firm or extra for this, and then I add some marinara sauce, and then the seasonings I like to use are salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. I also snacked on a larwar during this whole entire process. For the pasta, I didn't have that much penne left, so my friend suggested, hey, just mix in some rotini. So I did just that. <laughs> and once the pasta is cooked, I add the tofu mixture to it and then I transfer all of that into a greased baking dish. I kind of do this in like layers almost like it's lasagna. I add a layer of pasta to the bottom and then I use this VO Life Colby Jack cheese which I, I'd usually use mozzarella but I didn't have any and then I add a layer of that then I add another layer of pasta and then a final layer of cheese. I put that in the oven which is heated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40-ish minutes and then I also broil it at the end for maybe five minutes give or take. Oh my god look at how gorgeous she is she is the moment for vegetables i roasted some broccoli and some mushrooms with the same tofu mixture seasonings and then i drizzled them with balsamic glaze and that was my dinner So you guys know that I have tea or boba every day and I usually use my favorite oatmeal cookie creamer but the store was sold out unfortunately so I found this hazelnut Starbucks creamer and I decided to give it a try. I used that with some of this chocolate Koya drink and the tea I used was this hot cinnamon sunset tea. Ooh, also I found this apple pie at Whole Foods and it's actually vegan so in honor of fall coming I was obligated to buy it. I had a few bites of this along with my tea and it's so freaking good oh my god. Also shout out to me for finally buying a kettle and no more heating water in the microwave woohoo and the creamer my verdict it was okay definitely still prefer the oatmeal cookie one though my actual breakfast i made oatmeal of course i cut up a peach and an apple to add to it and personally i'm not really a fan of peanut butter with my peaches but i love peanut butter with apples oh my god it's such a god tier combination so i compromised by mixing some pb2 into my cashew yogurt and it was perfect Oh my god this lunch was so good my mouth is like watering while i edit this i made a pesto grilled cheese type of thing i cooked two slices of this sweet earth bacon and while those were cooking i toasted two slices of bread as for the pesto i really like this broccoli and kale one from whole foods i spread it on both of the slices of bread and then i added the cooked bacon some sliced tomatoes and then i used a mixture of this veal life mozzarella cheese as well as this follow your heart parmesan cheese i threw it back in the toaster oven to melt it and then I drizzled some balsamic glaze on it as a finishing touch and then I also had some barbecue pop chips because like I said I can't have a sandwich without my chips and that was my lunch it was so freaking good oh my god right when I stop filming I get this really cool bolt of lightning with the rain starting ah, I love thunderstorms I want to get like a cool strike of lightning Ooh. <gasps> oh it's over there oh I saw it I saw a little one. <laughs> Yay. Whoa! Oh my god! That was so cool! <laughs> Dessert, I had one of these Uncle Eddie's vegan peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, which are really good. I find mine at Whole Foods. I don't know where else you could get them, but I highly recommend if you find them, definitely get them. And then I also had some frozen grapes. Another day, another tea, and a few bites of apple pie. So that was my pre-breakfast. And for my actual breakfast, I wanted some toast. I was craving, like really craving some toast for God knows why. I toasted two slices of bread and then I cut up one banana. I then spread a generous amount of peanut butter to each piece of bread. And then I topped one of them with banana. And then I topped the other one with some strawberry jam. So your girl got the best of both worlds to top tier combinations. Wow. <laughs> Thunderstorms are the best. Ooh. <gasps> that 
That was cool. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is like my happy weather. <laughs> Once again, wasn't really a proper lunch, but whatever, it did the job. I had these falafel with tahini from Whole Foods, and then they were out of my garlic hummus, which was absolutely tragic. I almost cried in the grocery store. So I got this baba ganoush, I think that's how you say it. I am, if not, I'm so, so sorry. I got this to try it out, and I ate that with some of these Mary's crackers, and it was okay. It was pretty good, but I still wish I had my beloved garlic hummus instead. As I made dinner, I snacked on some bok choy and bean sprout kimchi, but for my actual dinner, I made jajangmyeon or black bean noodles, one of my favorite dishes of all time. For the sauce, I used some black bean paste, gochujang or red pepper paste, sesame oil, soy sauce, and nuclear noodle sauce. I mix that all together until it forms this kind of like paste consistency. And I usually eat this with tofu, but I decided to use these beefless tips from Gardein, which I seasoned with some soy sauce. Once the noodles and everything is cooked, Cooked, I add the noodles to the bowl first and then I add the black bean sauce and I mix it all together with my chopsticks And then I add the cooked vegetables with the garden beef and that was my dinner super good highly recommend 10 out of 10 And for dessert I had some of that apple pie and some frozen grapes How did this happen? My oatmeal it's okay. It happens to the best of us. Day five, final day. Your girl is having oatmeal once again. And I decided to go back to my roots because this is an oatmeal combination that I had every single day for years. And it is just the simple, the classic oatmeals with banana and peanut butter. So I've been using this peanut butter from Peanut Butter & Co. And what I like to do is I melt it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. And then I add a little bit of maple syrup, not too much, just a little bit to make it a little sweet. And it makes this this really nice drizzling consistency. So I cut up a banana, added that to the oatmeal, and then I topped it all with this maple peanut butter stuff. <laughs> and that was my breakfast. For lunch, I ordered from this Vietnamese place. It's one of my favorites off of Uber Eats. I'm obsessed with their cafe salad and their spring rolls. I usually don't get the lemongrass tofu in the spring rolls and I probably won't do it again. As you can see, it was definitely overstuffed and it broke. It still tasted great, don't get me wrong. It was just a lot messier than I would have liked. But yeah, that was my lunch, which I enjoyed while I continued my Hunter Hunter marathon rewatch. <laughs> <laughs> For dinner, I had some kimchi stew with my own little twist, I guess you could say. I added sesame oil and garlic to a pot, and then I added about half of a chopped onion. For the kimchi, I used a mixture of this kimchi as well as some canned kimchi, which is so good for stews because canned kimchi is usually really fermented. I then added about three-ish cups of water, and I brought that all to a boil. And once that was boiling, that's when I added all of the seasonings, which was gochujang, Korean red pepper flakes or red pepper powder, and some soy sauce. This is also when I added the silken tofu. I usually use the entire block because this makes about two to three meals for me. I also added some shiitake mushrooms because why not? I brought that down to a simmer and then I let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. The longer the better in my opinion. After all that time passed, I added some rice cakes and these are actually the rice cakes that are used for tteokbokki. I threw in these japchae dumplings because they've just been sitting in my freezer for too long. I let that cook for another 10 to 15 minutes and then it was finished and it was so delicious. Definitely going to add rice cakes and dumplings to my kimchi stew for the rest of my life. <laughs> Lastly, for dessert, I had another one of those Uncle Eddie's vegan peanut butter chocolate chip cookies and some frozen grapes. I have just been obsessed with frozen grapes. If you guys have never tried frozen grapes, you have to. You must. They're so addicting. So that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know. But if you absolutely hated it, then of course you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you're beautiful, 
You are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I also want to thank every single one of you for the overwhelming amount of love and support and kind words I got in my last video. I just love you guys so freaking much. I am so happy that you're alive. I'm so thankful that you're here. Yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.